smoke from the recent wildfires having a huge impact on the state's multi-billion dollar wine industry. Turns out grapes are vulnerable at times to smoke and ash. KPIX 5's Don Ford explains. Vineyards have been exposed now for weeks to smoke, but how much actual damage have the grapes sustained? That turns out to be a complicated question. Scientists here at the UC Davis Research and Teaching Winery are analyzing samples of grapes affected by smoke. Dr. Anita Oberholzer says the smoke couldn't have come at a worse time. This is going to be more problematic than any of the recent years, um, partly because it's so widespread. So many wine regions have been impacted, and also because of the timing of the wildfires. Grapes were mature and were just getting ready to be picked when smoke and ash descended on some of the most famous vineyards in the world. Millions of dollars and carefully cultured reputations could be at stake, all depending on the level of damage. Just because you see smoke in a vineyard yeah. does not mean that that vineyard will be impacted. Can't you just hose off the grapes and wash the smoke off? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Um, these compounds get actually absorbed through the skins. The juice is analyzed down to the compound molecular level. Different methods are being tried to remove the smoky creosote elements, but so far, the research continues. The phenolics, the other aroma compounds, the alcohol, the sugar, everything impacts the way you perceive it. Well, it's a complex combination. Yes, a very complex combination. She says white wines are far less impacted than dark red wines and assures us that in the future, 2020 wines that make it to the show will have passed an historic gauntlet of tests on their way to your glass. At UC Davis, Don Ford, KPIX5.